back. Guys, um, let's see. What can I do? I don't think there was actually all that much down there, so it wasn't the worst thing I could have done. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. I barely have anything here. So yeah, we're going to do one more part of this, probably. And I'm going to go off and do some Halo Wars. I'm not sure how much you guys like Halo Wars, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just throw that there. Also, I think I've sorted out all of the problems I've been having with Halo Wars, so, you know. This episode should actually be good. <laughs> Let's just grab the last of this, I know. I was really hoping to get a grappling hook and start, uh, and then, you know, fight the Eye of Cthulhu. But both of those things are not going to happen, I don't think, now. That's quite a big deposit of iron, actually. Not exactly massive. The way I see it, there's usually either a really big deposit or a really small deposit or a medium deposit. There's nothing other than those three. They seem to consist of either only about two or three little bits and pieces between one and five or so. Then it skips forward to about ten to, um, ten to fifteen, which is what I call a medium deposit. And then it just skips right forwards and you just get a massive deposit with like twenty odd in it. Actually, it'd be quicker to just tunnel down here, won't it? And I think I've got a platform left in my inventory, so I should, should, be able to um, jump back up in a second. Doesn't look like there was actually all that much here. Ah, uh, well, let's just see if I can chuck a thing down here. No, I'm not going to manage that. So let's just dig this out a bit more. Oh, that looks like gold. That'll be useful. So yeah, let's hope we get this gold. Oh, that's what that was. Yeah, just some random not and secure type thing. I love that. Uh, not talking about the not and secure type thing, I'm talking about the awesomeness of double jumping with a cloud. Yeah, that's gold, isn't it? I'm surprised there's so little of it. And now I've dropped that again. Let's see, can I manage to do this? Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that was a fail throw. Let's try that again. Nah, that's not going to work. Well, I know where it leads to now, though. It's nowhere particularly useful. So let's take the silver. I'm running out of torches again, aren't I? I think I can make some more after this, but not a hell of a lot. So yeah, these episodes are actually going to start getting longer now. I was doing them in 8 to 11 or 12 minute segments. I'm going to start doing them close to 15. The reason why I was doing them so short was mainly because um, I wanted to fit it so each one had at least 8 minutes and there's probably a better ways to do it than I did but you know I'm not exactly brilliant when it comes to this sort of recording and smart stuff <laughs> do something intelligent you say that sounds like a completely irrational idea Oh crap, I'm going to die. And now I've dropped my broadside, and now I'm completely panicking. <laughs> now I'm panicking. Please go away. What did I ever do to you? Besides killed a couple of your family members, probably. <sighs> Thank God for that. Yeah, we still actually have to get a hook of a skeleton. Those spider webs will get really annoying down here. Trust me. Crap, I'm gonna die. Hey, magma. I don't think we've seen magma yet, have we? Is it lava? I don't know. Was Is it lava when it's underground? Or is it magma when it's underground? Can't remember. I know it's... Is it lava? I think it's lava when it comes above ground, isn't it? When it comes out of the volcano and it's magma while it's inside the volcano. I've got no idea. So, is this, since it's underground, did that count as being kind of like in a volcano? Uh, maybe. 
I'm using a thingy axe to do this. And I deposit there as well, so let's go get that. Yeah, let's just how big is this iron deposit? Not absolutely massive, but it's pretty large. I'd say this is a medium iron deposit. Ah, okay. We might actually tunnel into that magma, see what's in there. Maybe there's a bit of obsidian. This obsidian is really nice to have. I forgot I could double jump, so I could have just got right up here. Ha! Ah. Seriously, this cloud in the bottle is a lifesaver. Also, pickaxes actually seem to work better on slimes than anything else. Can I jump up here? Nope, but... Probably can now. So yeah, we don't have the grappling hook, but the ability to double jump is pretty much the next best thing. So then. Let's continue tunneling downwards. Oh, come on, we really need a grappling hook now. We're probably getting close to the hell world and I've still not managed to get one. Oh, there's some more iron there. I'm actually hoping to make a full set of iron armor. But I doubt I'll be able to with the bits of iron that I've found. Maybe if I use a bit more silver. Also, how much gold do we have now? Yeah, if we get out actually alive, we will be able to buy the helmet. There's a skeleton there. We really should start kind of like prioritizing skeletons. Because we need a grappling hook. It's going to be really... Oh, crap. And there's a crystal heart there. So, yeah, we're going to try and travel a bit further upwards. So, yeah, we really should be prioritizing them. Please stop killing me. Okay, thanks. Bye. So, yeah, now we've got crystal hearts. Oh, life crystal. Whatever you want to call them. There we are. Was there any more iron up here, actually? Yeah, that double jumping is really useful. Oh, is that copper or gold? I think it's copper, but we'll probably get it anyway. We're actually going to end it pretty soon. I know I said I was going to do larger episodes, but... Mm. What I'm hoping is, I've heard a rumour, it's not exactly brilliant, uh, the chance that it's true is not very good. I've heard a rumour that if I get to 15,000 upload views, I should be able to do larger videos. So, that would be awesome. Because then I wouldn't have to keep splitting these up into so many parts. I could just have like one or two parts and that would be it. can I actually make that. Yeah, I can. So yeah, this was copper ore, but still, it's not terrible, is it? Ah, uh, now I have to tunnel into here a bit. Throw it back down there. Can I manage to make it up there? Nope, not quite. So, we just need to go a bit further up. I really should start placing down a hell of a lot more kind of blocks and stuff. Because they'll... Oh, crap. I'm going to fall dead far down now. Well, it wasn't incredibly far down. I think the cobwebs kind of saved me a bit there. This is gold, isn't it? I think it is as well. Yeah, oh, no, that's copper. Still, again, that's gold. 
so I'm glad we got it anyway. I'm probably going to end it in a second once I've got all this ore. It's lovely, lovely ore. And, oh, there's another cave ore as well. See. Nope, doesn't look like there's much else in here. So now we can start travelling downwards. So we've got everything that's up here. Also, a good thing to know is if you use that just as you're about to hit the ground, which was what I was trying to do, but I didn't manage it, you do actually, um, what you call it, survive the jump. So yeah. Can you not use cloud in a bottle if you're coming out of water? Don't like you can. But the flippers are really helpful. You know, some of these items in this game are unbelievable. Hmm. I think I've actually already been in here. Yeah, which means we should tunnel into that cave there. Okay, I know I've said this about 12 times, but now I really mean it. After I've finished this tunneling thing here. Ah, oh, there's nothing in here, is there? Nope, you could tell by the amount of water that didn't actually just disappear. So yeah guys, we're going to end it here. See you next time.